Hey, 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 hey. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Psychedelic Kitten, and we are playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And we left off um, not at a very good place. Like, it was a good place to leave off, I guess, but like for Cloud and Tifa, it wasn't that great. They like had some type of weird ass fight. And I'm hoping that we can make up with her in this, um, in this stream. I also learned toward the end that there is a card game. And I'm not a fan. Not a fan at all. So, I don't know how often we'll be doing that. But let's see if we can find Tifa and the others. Anything in here we need, though? Glad story time's over. That was kind of weird. Being Sephiroth was a little interesting, though. Why is it want me in there? Is it in here or, like, on the other side? Or maybe downstairs. This is how I get confused in video games. I don't take directions very well. Especially when it looks like it's right there. Okay. That's fine. Ooh. Can we go in here? Jesus. Barge in, why don't you? Well, nobody out here. This is pretty, though. Maybe she just doesn't remember him because she was pretty fucked up. I'm looking for the way out. I'm trapped! There's the door. <laughs> okay. We got it. Aha. Uh -huh. Followed by the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this Good morning, sir. Destruction caused by a massive tornado which I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice. Okay. Adjust your party's gear by accessing Matrian equipment from the main menu. Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? A what now? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. There's bookstores? When did that happen? The fuck? I need to keep this place looking spank and span. Don't okay, good for you, lady. Down. Finally. Rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt, until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Aww. You're so cute. So, uh, if you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. I'm guessing we're getting our equipment checked. This is the second time. The <laughs> rook's got a backbone. That's the second time that uh, someone told me about getting my equipment checked. Overcoming challenges, helping people in need, and exploring the world will deepen your party's bonds, thereby increasing your party level. The higher the this level, the more skills and abilities will be available in your folios. What the hell is a folio? <laughs> All people need exploring the world deep down. Okay. Radio professor. Neen. 
Ned. And this is where we need to go. But what's with these people? And what's this? Oh, the books. Okay. Let me guess, are these like for the cards? Because I honestly, to God, don't want to do that shit again. Just thinking about what might have happened. Oh my God, there's a person in a wheelchair. I've tried to contact them so many times now, but nothing. I love it when they represent disabled people. Okay, moving on. I don't want to stare too much. She'll slap me. Oh, is it down here? I don't know. I'm lost. I hear mid bars. Oh, there's red. The Mako outflow from Midgard has okay. up the monster population, making them especially dangerous. We went ways away. <laughs> um the town is strictly forbidden. Village center. I just spied the cutest. In here? Oh. I want to play. Hi. What do you want? Don't scare me like that. Sorry, bro. You, you don't want to play Queen's Blood. Do no, you? I don't. I knew I it was, was a card. The game. Oh, what am I thinking? <laughs> you look like you'd murder me. Gonna throw up. <laughs> Give me that look. It's perfectly healthy for adults to cry too, you know. <laughs> People call me crybaby cry Ned. Ned. Because the more tears I shed, the better I get at Queen's Blood. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Please play around with me. Okay, fine. Fine. You you pulled my arm. Let's do it. Only because you're crying. <laughs> I still don't know how this works. Crystalline Crab. Raise the power of allied cards on affected tiles by two while this card is in play. Uh, crazy game? Say what? Raise the power of allied cards on affected tiles. I still don't know what we're doing. <laughs> oh, shit. It. Did I go out? No I'm sorry. Baby. Okay, calm down, bro. Calm down. <laughs> I didn't mean to do oh, that. No. You're back. I don't want to lose, but... Okay, chill. Chill. It'll be all- it'll be good. Okay. I don't understand this game. How do you even play it? Begin match. Gotcha. Start the match, yes. I'm only playing because he was crying, okay? I hate this game. If you don't like some or any of the cards you have drawn, you can put them back in your deck and draw new ones. As you cannot play high rank cards right away, it is often a good idea to return them to your deck in hopes of getting ones that will help you early on. Okay. What? Wait, what? Ah! Like, it picks for- no. What? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. Alrighty. Can't use that one. You suck, donkey dick. How come I can't use these ones? Why are you telling me what I can and cannot do? Why do you hate me?
I got four. I hate this game. <laughs> I hate this game. Screw you, crybaby. Oh, one more time. I'm mad. I'm angry. I don't think I have any better decks than that. Or cards than that. Uh, Never underestimate a crybaby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I went out on accident. Screw you. I can't believe I lost by a crying man. I'm so mad. Okay. Ah. You know what? <laughs> Would you go around with me? If you stop crying. We're only doing it one more time. Only because I'm pissed. Okay. Begin match. I keep accidentally going out when I'm trying to go in. I don't understand the cards. Where's Yu-Gi-Oh when you need him? No, don't do that. Don't do that! Can I click this one? I would help if it would show our, um, our, um, scores as we're going so I could get a better grip of the game. Oh, I'm kind of getting it, I think. Seriously? Let's see if what I think is happening happened. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's how you score it. <gasps> oh my god, I won! I don't freaking believe it. Raise the power of allied cards and affect tiles by two while this card is in play. Cool. Oh god, I lost. But uh, I feel a lot better after having a good cry. Oh, that's There's good. There's nothing like a game of Queen's Blood to relieve some stress. Speaking of, you look like you've got a lot weighing you down too. It's written all over your face. It's because of that damn Trust game. Me, I'm telling you. Crying does wonders. You really ought to try it. There's another one over here. He's level two, though. I don't think I'm that good yet. He's up here somewhere. Where exactly? I have no clue. That's how I get lost. I'm just saying. Is he down? No? He'd be... Is he in somewhere? Up here? A little girl ah. told me you can't get enough of that card game. Oh, God. Blood. Yeah. Oh, looky here. I'd say we got ourselves a contender. He's playing a dummy. So how about it, pretty boy? It's actually kind of cute. Not but really. First, let me introduce you to Nene, Master Ventriloquist. That's the world looking for, Ventriloquist. Of a talker, but give her a deck of cards, and she'll wipe the floor with you so fast, it'll make your head spin. Uh. Really your ass handed to you? Well, are ya? I guess. Now, how do you edit your deck? It's another thing I need to figure out. This was the new one. It says I have 16 cards, but I don't even see 16. <laughs> oh, so we have two of these, two of these, two of these. Okay, I get it now. Did I do it? Is it in there? I think it was this one, right? Ooh, I want that card. Only because it has the... The, um... The fuck is his name? The... The... Cactus thing. Oh my god, where's the hard man? Let's just go. Select the cards you wish to mul mulligan. Mulligan? Mulligan. I'm good. Can't use that one yet. Why can't I use this? 
I don't understand why I can't use that. Like, what's the point? Oh! Moving this. Sweet! It actually did some to the topper one. Ooh, I can use him now. Okay. Ooh. I can't do anything now. Oh my god, I won again. It's making more sense. I'm doing it! Phew, this guy packs one hell of a punch. <laughs> you can't win them all. Besides, what really matters is you were brave enough to take on a bona fide card shark like Pretty Boy here. Sometimes you gotta take the L if you're serious about upping your game. Listen, kid, you got what it takes to be a champ. I bet my bottom gill on it. Now why don't you show Blondie your appreciation for being such a good sport? Thank you for playing cards with me, mister. <laughs> okay, lady. Okay, check mark, so that means I played her. Alright. Well, get out of there. I'm starting to win now, so that's something. You can go this way? No. Yes? No. Yes? No. I don't know! Where am I trying to go? No, not none of them are back that way. We need to go up here. Why is it so far away? I need a bicycle. Alright. Clear up there. So we go this way. Hey Dad, have you heard of Clean Splat? Nothing like a leisurely stroll. So now what? Do we go through here? This is weird. I don't know this was down here. Of course. And no, we don't, but there's big Who it is? You up already? Drink it already? Ha, no, sir. Not gonna have a drop till Seventh Heaven's back up and running. First one's on me. No time soon, then. First one will taste good. First one will taste good. Damn straight. Especially because I'll be having it with friends at a huge party. Our relationship has changed. Is that good or bad? Cloud's actions affect his relationship with his allies and the strength of these bonds can alter portions of the story. Press L1 to view a comrade's feelings toward Cloud as in indicated by symbols such as happy. He, he didn't do any of those though. L1. Oh. Okay. So his face above that, I think he just feels neutral about me. Not bad since in the beginning he really hated me. Anyways, we don't go down there. Why are these, uh... These towns so freaking weird. They're like mazes. Whoops. So they're down here somewhere. Ooh. Customers. Here's an item shop. Hello and welcome to my humble shop. That's not what I'm looking for though. Hi. Uh cushion. Allows you to use broken down rest stops? That's a thing? Somehow we own five. We'll get healing matria, because that's always came in use for me. Okay, now we have two of those. Yep, yeah, where's... It's here somewhere, then. Hi, Chocobo. I've lost it. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, so what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. 
But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Uh... Sure, let's. Sure, let's. For real? Awesome! Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? Ooh, we found one. This is where it all Because of Varys. Hey and I gotta find the clock Welcome tower. To Magnata Books. Oh. I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. Uh, spend skill points at Magnata Book Locations and Automats to augment your party's folios. Thus unlock the powers latent in your allies. Begin tutorial. First, could you tell me what a folio is? Select Cloud's folio. What the fly in hell? Thorn skill cores can be unlocked by sending by spending skill points. So it's it's your skill points. Now you gotta go to a bookstore for that. Move the cursor over a skill core to see what it does. For now, move the skill core on the upper left. Cloud uses Air's magic to unleash a ranged attack. Limit level increase. Now to unlock the skill core. Oh. Yeah, this is a little different with battle. This is interesting. Okay. You have mastered new synergy ability. As you unlock skill cores, adjacent cores become available in turn. You are free to choose which skill cores to unlock and when adapting character strength to suit your play style. Increasing the party level creates more skill cores. Character will earn SP when they level up or when they acquire manuscripts such as the art of sword play. Unlocked skill cores can be reset at any time and SP spent will be returned, so feel free to experiment with different combinations. And that's about all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Now we have this one over here. I hear Midgar's a mess right now. And then we gotta go find Aerith. This Mako tank allows us to live in comfort. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm on a mission. So where is it? Aha. Welcome. Damn. That is quite the weapon you got there, mister. Seen plenty of action by the look of it. But saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. If you like, I could show you. Adjust your weapon skills via upgrade weapons in the main menu. Uh, raising your character's weapon levels will unlock more of these skills. Adjust your weapon skills via upgrade weapons. So, upgrade your weapons in the main menu, okay, raising your character's weapon level will unlock more of these skills, as well as stat boost, allowing you to customize your party to suit your playstyle, okay. Upgrading weapons, start tutorial, let's do it. From the upgrade weapon screen, you can enhance a weapon and see its stats. Here, you can see your party's current equipment, their weapon level, and the amount of skill points needed to reach the next level. Okay, so he needs... Select Cloud's Buster Sword. The weapons, attributes, and acquired skills are displayed here. Now try equipping the weapon skill. The nodes in which you can equip skills are displayed here. I'm so confused. Uh, I'm confused on the nodes. Select node. 
Weapon ability damage. Okay, so this does it a little differently than last time. That's what they meant. Because you gotta go to the bookstore to take up battle skills, which I guess are ones you can do with the team, and then get enough to upgrade your weapons. And now I'm confu confused because they both go off to SP, so do they have different types of SP, or like, you have to try to save some SP for each one? Like, oh boy. Okay, it wants me to click that one, apparently. As you increase your weapon level, you will learn more skills and unlock more nodes in which to set them. In addition to the upgrade weapon screen, you can also tweak your skill loadout by going to the Matria and Equipment screen, selecting a character, and pressing triangle to set Matria. If you would prefer a more streamlined experience, you can opt to automatically allocate weapon skills. This can be done from the auto-upgrade setting menu. New weapons can be found in treasure chests during your travels, but should you happen to miss one, the local arms dealer will have it available to purchase. Many of these merchants even stock the latest armor and accessories, so be sure to check in often. What you got, bro? That takes up uh, Cloud, Hunter's Bangle. That's 3,000 though, I don't got enough. Okay. You take care of that weapon now. Yeah, yeah, each weapon comes with a distinct ability which can be used when the weapon is equipped. Using this ability repeatedly or meeting its proficiency bonus conditions will increase your proficiency. Max out this proficiency to use said ability even when you do not have its corresponding weapon equipped. Check an ability's proficiency bonus via mantra and equipment in the main menu. Mm, this one so is this back. over here... Aerith or someone else I need to talk to. Need something for the kids? A date with Aerith. I'm sorry, what? Cloud! Over here! Clock tower. Oh, well, that was easy. Where are you going? Good god, there's a lot of stairs. Don't they know about elevators? Excuse me, ma'am. I think Midgar's this away. Should Midgar. Be, yeah. Wow. That's so cool. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks? It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. <laughs> she say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. For us, aren't they? Gotta be. Well, should talk to Tifa first, see what she was gonna say. Okay, down we go. What the hell? We're pole dancers now. I feel like a firefighter. 
I expect her to just jump ship like that. Just what do you think you're at <laughs> Don't shoot innocent people, that's not nice. There you are. Hi. There isn't much time. We need to get back to the end. But... Don't worry about your friends. They're safe. Trust me. No violence. Please. This town suffered enough. Come on. Okay, I'm following this Follow dude. Me. Cool. Help from a local. Not here. Well, we know we'll take the back way. Hey, take you. the back way. We were just there. They're kind of blind. I heard about the reactor bombings in Midgar. That was you, wasn't it? It's okay, I'm on your side. I've got a contact at HQ. You were with Avalanche? Not exactly. Stop. I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. Up and over what? Up and... Follow her, she knows what's going on. Oh, okay, I see. See, this is different too. I don't. I keep forgetting to look for him. I'm like, what? May I ask what's going on? No, you may not. Oh, never mind. That was the person helping us. Yes, you may. <laughs> Hi, pigeons. How you doing? Very slow. This is going to take a hot minute. Well, at least he's on our side. Oh, hi! Don't be waving at us. That looks mighty sus. Much further. Let's stay on your toes. Wait, wait, what? Where'd you go? There you are. Where are they? Down below, waiting for you. will take you outside of town. Leave now, and they won't catch you. Head to the east. A friend of mine runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. Also, take this. What is it? It's a transmuter. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. You'll get more use out of it than me. Looks complicated. Why are you doing this? You could have just turned this in. Yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. Can't you have just said thank you, bro? From the item transmere screen in the main menu. Oh, now I got another something else. 
can convert raw materials into practical items such as consumables, equipment, accessories, and more. What do you mean raw materials? To expand your transmission options, collect transmuter chips found throughout the world or improve your craftsmanship. Guess we'll learn as we go. I can transmute a potion. You can now transmute an antidote. You can trans... Dude! Tutorial, yes. You can now transmute items and armor using the material from Broden. Try creating a potion. Uh, first, open the item transmitting transmitter menu. The currently transmutable items are listed here. What's a mist potion? Okay. Um, increasing your craftsmanship and acquiring transmitter chips will expand the range of items you can create. These are the materials that are necessary amounts for the selected items. Ah, uh, that's what they were that we got from the guy. Uh, here you can see the requirement for transmuting a potion. Transmuting an item for the first time grants experience, which increases your craftsmanship. Be sure to create new items wherever you get the chance. Transmuting a potion by selecting it from the list and holding X. Ooh! I did the thing. I did it. Through tra transmutation, you can keep your supplies topped up without needing to buy items from vendors. Materials can be found out in the field or in chest and gained through combat. There are also items that can only be obtained via transmutation. But are um, vendors still a thing here, or no? Down and out. Well, let's save first. Oh, it's dark down here. Oh, there we go. Air raid shelter. Oh, you made it. All in one piece? Sorry we're late. For the love of... Where the hell have you two been? On a date. I knew Kinda. she was gonna say that. What? Uh... Well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. <clears throat> Got that? Uh, oh. His ear twitched. Let's move. I love it when animals' ears twitch. That wasn't cool, Eris. Not gonna get a chance with Tifa if you keep that shit up. Okay, bring up the rear and I'm sure the others make it safely through. Come on. Where to now? Or not. Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. It's barely hanging on. Guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. <laughs> left, your left, your left, right. <laughs> I love Barrett. I guess. 
guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. Let's go. <laughs> and there it was, the first step on our new journey. You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. Right? Follow me. <laughs> All right. Let's get this show on the road, people. Adjust your battle party from the combat setting screen in the main menu. You can create up to three preset parties to swap between while exploring the world. Open the commands menu and press L1 or R1 to switch parties. To open the map and get your bearings, while story markers and discovery markers will be automatically added to the map, you can place your own by pressing R3. For now, head to the farm Broden spoke of as marked by the star. I didn't mean to do that. Party? Now it lets us? It won't let us do that in the other one. So is Red a normal thing on his own now? Or. I always want Barreth. Or Barret. Barreth. Barret. I might be able to do without him right now, actually. How do you swap them exactly? Toggle command guide. Okay. Well, um, I don't know. Alright. I think Barrett's become one of my favorite characters. Jump. Is there something down here? Is there evil out here? I don't know. It had red, but... Thresher water wheel, area of interest discovered. You may find useful supplies hidden among abandoned facilities and settlements. Open all the chests and the location to mark it on your map is complete. What's this? It's green. Do I do anything with that? No? Anything down there? Let me do that. So many buttons. Do we need over here? So what's over here? Okay. Anyway, don't understand. What's that? piece of timber. The materials required to transmute items can be obtained while out exploring the world. Procured from combat or purchased at chocobo tax shops. This chocobo tax shop? That's kind of hilarious. Uh, if you are ever in need of a specific material, take note of its symbol as it may point you in the right direction. Furthermore, pressing that in the item transmitter will reveal more information. Okay. Wait. We got rocks. 